is it a smart idea to start your car during winter storage? For the answer to that question and a few more winter storage tips, let's go to LN Engineering. How do you properly store your car for the winter? I'm Lake Speed Jr., the motor oil geek. I'm here with Charles Navarro from LN Engineering. And Charles, this is something that we've been working on together for, it seems like at least 10 plus years yeah. now. Going almost 20 years now. Yeah. Proper storage of a car is really critical to the long-term health of yes. the car. It's so many people want to go out and start their car in the winter and just, they, they feel like they, they're, uh, that if they let the car sit, they're doing something bad. And there's so many myths out there or what people were doing or what was done 20, 30 years ago. Things have changed and it seems like it's an uphill battle to, to communicate this to everybody so they can do what's best for their cars. Absolutely, so we're gonna give you the three storage tips that we have found together over years of testing and development. These are the proper ways to store your car. So the number one most important thing you can do when you put your car away for winter storage, change your oil. Speaking of when to change your oil, would you be interested in a video about how oil life indicators on modern cars work? If so, leave a comment below and we'll make a future video about that. Okay, now back to storage tips. Absolutely, change the oil. Get that old oil out of the vehicle because time is also an important function when it comes to oil life. Along with that, a lot of people always ask me, well, if I change the oil in the winter before I put it away, do I have to change it again before I take it out in the spring? And no. no, you don't need to. No, it's so fuel, the fuel that doesn't burn, because not all the fuel that goes through the engine burns. It's the unburnt fuel that's the primary enemy of your oil. So short trip summer driving is actually really bad for the oil. So even though you may not have a lot of miles on the oil, that's why it's so important to get that old oil out before the car goes away for winter storage. And, and typically the older the car, the more important it is because the older mechanical fuel injection carburetors tend to be more liberal <laughs> with their delivery of fuel. Yeah. And, and one, of, one of the big things, that about what I mentioned, not starting the car when you put it away, mm -hmm. the enemy, again, is the fuel, the unburnt fuel and the, and the oil, but also you have moisture because you don't get the engine up to full operating temperature above boiling point of water, 215, 220 for the oil. It's that short trip driving yep. that, that, that brings that along. So you have the moisture along with that combustion byproducts and that mix in the oil and create acid and cause corrosive wear inside your engine. Bingo, so the first thing you should do before you put your car away for winter storage is change the oil. While you're at it, it's not a bad idea to take a sample of the oil. Just like you go to the doctor for yearly checkup, well, that oil sample that you take when you do that yearly oil change before you put it away for storage, send it off to the lab, we can analyze the oil, we can tell you what's the health of the oil, what's the health of the engine, so it's really good preventative maintenance, getting some good data trends, because every engine is different. The yep. wear numbers for this engine would be very different than the wear numbers for your 356. If you have granny only driving the car once a week to church uh, five minute drive once, mm -hmm. a, once a week versus someone that's driving their car 50 miles each way every day, the same engine, same car, same oil, it's gonna to look totally very different and how often the oil needs to be changed is gonna be very different. All right, so that oil sample can tell you a lot about the health of the engine, what oil you should be running, how often you should be changing it. You can find all that from the oil sample. So number one, we're gonna take oil sample while we're changing the oil put, to put it away. The next thing, again, it relates to fuel is
you put this car away for winter storage, you want that fuel tank either completely full or completely empty. Yep. The harder, the second one's a lot harder to do. Yep. So typically it's just easier to mm -hmm. fill it all up, have it completely full before you put it away. And in doing that, you need to make sure you use a fuel additive. Absolutely. Some type of fuel stabilizer, storage protection additive is really important because normal pump gas will go bad within a few months. Yep. With ethanol fuel, yeah, it's a few months and it's hygroscopic. So it mm -hmm. wants to take all the moisture out of the air and hold it in suspension. Mm -hmm. And it can hold something like 10%. Yeah, it can hold uh, a, a, lot a, lot of a lot of moisture. So you definitely want to add some uh, additive to the fuel that is designed for ethanol fuels to give you that corrosion protection and stabilize the fuel. And even if you use non-ethanol fuel, it's probably still a good idea to use a product like that in it. So if you say you're in Florida or someplace where it's a really humid environment, this is a bigger issue than for say somebody in Arizona where it's yep. pretty dry. But the whole point is that when the fuel volume is full in the engine, there's a very small amount of area where the oxygen can interact with the fuel. Cause that's how the fuel goes bad is called oxidation. So just like there's antioxidants that are good for your health, guess what? There's antioxidants you can put in your fuel that help the fuel from oxidizing and going bad during storage. But think back to that word, antioxidant. What are we trying to do? We're trying to keep the oxygen from degrading the fuel. If I have a fuel tank that's only 20% fuel, 80% air, well, we know that there's a lot of oxygen in the air, mm -hmm. it's going to have a bigger impact on the fuel. It can make the fuel go bad faster because there's more available oxygen. When the fuel tank is full, now there's not all that available oxygen, much smaller area. And then when you boost it full of antioxidant, now you've given that fuel a fighting chance to live during winter storage because you don't want to run bad fuel. No, no. And you want to make sure that you put the added in first before you put fuel and you need to make sure you run the car long enough so you can get the fuel with that additive through the entire fuel system. Absolutely. So first step was to change the oil, take the sample. Second step is to put full load of fuel in the car, make sure we put in some antioxidant, some fuel additive to make sure it stabilized. Then the third thing, which you've already kind of mentioned a couple of times is, Just leave it alone. It's okay. Yeah. It's not gonna go bad sitting. Nope. And you can, if you don't believe that, if you take a car that's been, it, sometimes you see cars that get started up in a shop. You've seen oil mm -hmm. analysis. They start it up, they move it out, then they start it up, put it back, and they do that repeatedly. And they use oil analysis for those cars that are just run for a minute at a time repeatedly that never gets up to temperature. The analysis is the horrible. Is literally death for your car to go out there and crank it and let it run just for a minute or two once a week. You were doing more damage yep. than if you took that car and raced it 500 miles. Yep. I know that sounds crazy, but literally I'm telling you, a 500 mile race sample will look better from, than the one minute once a week for a three month sample, mm -hmm. which sounds crazy, but it's true because that fuel that moisture is the enemy of the oil. The fuel dilution goes high, acid levels increase, so corrosive wear goes crazy in the engine because of it. So the best thing to do is just let it sit. It's simple. Yep. So two things you have to do. The third one you just don't do. And those are the three lessons that we've learned over years of doing it, that when you follow these steps, the results are pretty daggum good. Yeah, and going back to the, the whole, you doing the use oil analysis, that will tell you if your oil change intervals are correct, if the oil you're running in the engine is doing a good good job, that like you said, the health of the components. Mm -hmm. and so it's, it's critical, that's the best time to do it. If you're gonna put the car away, test the oil when you're doing that oil service and getting the car to put it away for storage and doing everything like the fuel additive, making sure the fuel gas tank is filled and so you're ready for spring. Since my day job is working for Total Seal Piston Rings, while we were at LN Engineering, we did some tribology testing. 
We took some pistons, some rings, some liners. We even tried some different oils to measure the wear effects of all of these different combinations. So stay tuned for those results that will be coming out on the Total Seal YouTube channel. You have your data, and you know what they do in the spring, and you're good to go. So it's literally that simple. Those three steps, proper storage, your car is good. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.